Hi everyone. As you know, I'm a public speaking coach. I've delivered hundreds of presentations. I'm a keynote speaker. I have clients in Australia and internationally. I write articles, publish blogs, and even the video content that I share is all to do with my world, public speaking. A week ago, I was invited to deliver a keynote to a client that I've got a good relationship with. And it's a keynote that I know like the back of my hand. Despite all my speaking experience, last week's presentation didn't go well at all. And I performed poorly. You see, I failed to listen to my own advice. I recently published an article called Positioning Your Comfort Level which talks about things that you can do right before a presentation to remain calm, feel comfortable, and set expectations. For me, to feel comfortable and set expectations, I always ask for a cool air-conditioned room, which I did in this case. Why do I do that? Because I've been diagnosed with a medical condition, which means my body doesn't have the ability to regulate heat. Put me in a warm, stuffy environment, it causes a huge amount of discomfort and my body simply shuts down. In this instance, the room that I was presenting in didn't have air conditioning which worked. And even the client acknowledged that I may struggle. And I did. I started sweating so much, I looked like I belong in a gym and not in a boardroom. Instead of confronting the issue, I decided to push on and just avoid it, which made things even worse. When I look back on the presentation, I should have told the audience how I felt and what would happen as a result. I should have asked for the door to be left open to circulate the room a little more. I could have asked for a desk fan to be placed next to me. I could have excused myself for a minute and gone to the bathroom to wash my face and cool down. As a last resort, I could have even turned down the opportunity to speak, knowing full well that I would struggle. But I didn't do any of this because I didn't want to disappoint. Instead, I pushed through and that ended up being the worst decision because not only was my presentation delivered poorly, but it was detrimental to my health. At one point, I was so hot, I felt like I was going to pass out and I couldn't even speak. In hindsight, I'm glad all of this happened because it's a lesson learned and a reminder to always set the right expectations. And here's what I'd like to know. Have you ever been in a situation where you've been asked to do something and you've accepted knowing that was the wrong decision? What happened and why did you do it? I'd love to know, so please drop me a message and get in touch. Thank you for listening.